Welcome to the Magic School Bus Adventure, presented by Emily, Liam, Paulo, Will, Eric, and Matthew. Scene one. Today class, we're gonna learn about the cell. The nucleus contains and protects individual genetic information. DNA controls all cell activity. The cytoplasm establishes an environment that is hospital for most cell activity. And the cell membrane forms a barrier and protects the cell, helps the absorption of nutrients and other substances, and helps the evacuation of waste. So, Senora Lopez, the cell membrane is for the protection of the cell, and the DNA is like the brain. And the nucleus is what stores the brain, right, Senora? That's good, Carlos. <laughs> and genes are a segment of DNA that contains, contains genetic information required to carry out a particular job. Wow, that's interesting, Miss Frizzle. I also have another idea. Why don't we go into Carlos's body and see why, how cells, uh, how they work in the bloodstream? Why don't we go in Arnold's body instead? I knew I should have stayed oh, yes. home today. Scene two. Hop on the magic school bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the magic school bus. Hop yeah. on the magic school bus. Scene three. And here we are in the bloodstream. If my textbooks are correct, Miss Frizzle, the the blood is made out of formed elements, plasma. And the formed elements are white blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets. I see, you are correct, Dorothy Ann. And white blood cells, they, they attack invaders while the platelets help in the clotting processes, like when you cut yourself. And then red blood cells, they, they, transport. they, they transport oxygen and CO2. Am I correct? Good job, Carlos and Dorothy Ann. Gracias. Thank you. Senora Lopez, I mean uh, Frizzle, well, if, if white blood cells attack invaders, why aren't we getting attacked? Yeah, why aren't we getting attacked? Uh, oh, that's right. Uh-oh. Scene four.